Thank you, Madam Speaker. I yield three minutes to the gentlewoman from Pennsylvania, another distinguished member of the Rules Committee, Ms. Scanlon. The gentlewoman is recognized. Thank you, and I thank my colleague from the Rules Committee. Madam Speaker, I rise in strong support of today's rule. The America Competes Act is a bold and important bill that will help make our economy more competitive, more dynamic, and more prosperous as we confront the challenges of the 21st century. This bill provides a long overdue investment in our nation's leading research and development institutions, which will deliver huge benefits to the region I represent. It will fund innovations and breakthroughs to ensure that the United States leads the world in advancements in artificial intelligence, cybersecurity, computing, and biomedical research. The Competes Act also provides a targeted program of policies to address our short and long-term supply chain challenges. These policies will help to lower inflation, promote domestic manufacturing, encourage businesses to reshore jobs, and insulate our economy from the supply chain disruptions we're seeing right now. Internationally, the Competes Act will improve our relationships with our allies and partners in the Americas, Europe, Africa, and Asia, fostering closer political and economic ties and countering China's growing influence abroad. All in all, the America Competes Act is a sound investment in our nation's future, and I hope that the House and Senate can quickly work out their differences so that we can send a final bill to President Biden's desk soon. Madam Speaker, I also want to highlight two amendments that I've offered to help shape the America Competes Act. One of those amendments would provide grants to institutions of higher education to create innovative research-funded education centers for STEM students. These centers would provide students with course-based research experiences across STEM disciplines and education levels, and they would work to reduce the barriers that minority and low-income students face in participating in STEM education in order to reduce attrition rates and increase diversity in STEM workforce. My other amendment deals with the Regional Technology and Innovation Hub program created by the America Competes Act which would provide cities and towns with funding to increase jobs and training opportunities in R&D, tech, and manufacturing. My amendment would clarify the program's designation process so that cities like Philadelphia can compete fairly for those vital federal resources. I'm proud to contribute these amendments to the bill, and I urge all my co colleagues to vote yes on the rule and the underlying legislation. And with that, I yield back.